Yo, <clears throat> what's going on guys? How you doing? <laughs> this is weird. This this fucking place is weird. But I'm in, okay. It's a uh there's a little this is a pod, like a hotel pod that uh you get in Japan. It was like forty dollars forty dollars, dude. It was so cheap, literally forty dollars. And you get uh, a pretty good little area, dude, for uh for all of this. Let me show you guys what this thing actually gets. But how, first of all, how y'all doing in the chat there? What's up, Molly, Zam, Cole? What's up, guys? How you doing? I know it's really late everywhere right now except for Europe, but it's 6 p.m. here. Um, I managed to get to Kyoto at like 3.30, and uh, yeah, I just, I haven't done shit. I literally have been sitting my stuff up in this room, and that's about it. I'm just fucking exhausted today. The train and the, the everything was just awful. Because uh, I couldn't speak there. I, no one could speak English, but let me see. Let me show you. So, first, we have... This is it. It's literally this. It's, it's literally that. <laughs> this is the circumference of the room. That's it. But it's it works, you know what I mean? Like, it's got everything I need. I mean, shit. We got... A bag. We got my bag. We got my shit right there. We have just the door to the outside hallway with all the other fucking little rooms. We have a light that you can just fucking switch. It's literally a closet, dude. We have a computer with, like, just a computer, dude. They come. It comes with a computer. It has really good Wi-Fi, too, and a pretty good air conditioning unit. So, uh, yeah, that's it. This is the, uh, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's kind of scuffed, but, I mean, it's $40, dude, so uh, it makes sense. Then you have the outside, which is like... Okay, it appears I'm stuck inside of this closet, dude. Hold on one second. <laughs> what the fuck is this? You turn the lights off and on. CX in the chat. How's your day going, Ice? I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thank you. I just walked in on some lady, dude. I. Oh my god, let me lock this shit, dude. Then I close this, look at this. Close our light off. Oh, dude, it's good. Yeah, let me see. The rooms, dude, there's so many and they're very close. Yeah, that's why I'm whispering. That's why I'm whispering, because there's like literally, there's like fucking hundred, there's literally a hundred rooms and they're all within like a. How's your day going, Ice? So it's really good. Uh, I'm good. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it very much. So it's pretty chill. I mean, for $40, it's not bad at all. Like, this shit is chill as fuck. I don't know if you guys would pay. Yeah, I'm sleeping here. But here's the bad part about this place. <sighs> Most of these pod places that I've found don't let you stay for 24 hours. You uh, have to check out every 12 hours. So I paid for 24 hours, but I have to go to the front desk at 2.30 in the morning to check out and then check immediately back in, which I don't really understand. I guess so it's not technically 24 hours. I don't know. I don't know why they do that. I guess the people don't lock themselves in here for fucking a month straight, but why would they do that? You know what I mean? So I don't understand. That's the only bad thing. But other than that, I mean, I, this place is great, and it's not even the cheap price. It's also the uh, the fact that it's central to everything. Since this is so small, you can like you can fit so many in like a small building, and like it's just central in the city, so it's not bad. 
Um, so this is the plan of what we're going to do. I, I can hear my neighbors. I can hear every, like these motherfuckers are loud as shit, dude. It comes with headphones, but obviously I'm talking right now, so I'm not going to put those on, but, uh, you know, it's fine. So you can't fucking hear it. Like people would definitely hear you if you try fucking dude. But I don't know. It's not bad, I guess. Um, the computer specs are pretty good too. So th this is what, uh, oh, everyone else back in, uh, in the other hotel in Tokyo. So, uh, they're flying out tomorrow. Uh, Volta's had Lucha, Kimberly. They're not going to stay. Uh, I was thinking about extending Kimberly's flight, but it's, uh, $300 to extend a flight. So I was like, eh, not going to extend her flight. So I just extended my flight, uh, from instead, instead, of, in Japan. instead of me leaving tomorrow, I'm leaving Friday. Uh, Nibba's in Japan. Thank you. Thank you, Nicholas. Appreciate that, homie. So, yeah, I'm by myself over in this motherfucker. And let me tell you, none of these people speak English. None of these people, like, in Tokyo, they use a little bit of English here and there. Bro, none of these people, dude. I'm in a fucking... I don't even know. Like, this this place is confusing for me. Even the air conditioning is in Japanese. Like, I don't understand what... I didn't, it took me 25 minutes to turn on the air conditioner. I had no idea... <laughs> Like, I'm so, like, it's very confusing. It's so much different than Tokyo, because this is, like, a, I don't know, like, more traditional, like, part of the city, so. And when I try to use the translator apps to translate, they, they don't, uh, they, they, they don't work very well. They don't translate very well, so I don't like them at all. I don't need to tweet them live, it's fine. But they like they, the translation comes out so scuffed on me, so I don't know if my neighbors can hear me. I'm like worried. I don't want them to like knock on the wall and be like talking to me and shit, dude. Because uh, I don't I want to know what they're saying. Thank you, G. I appreciate that, homie. So here's the plan for tomorrow. I want to uh, not a forty dollar blowjobs. No, the plan is uh, I want to try and wake up early and I want to stream at some time in the morning in the morning fully energized mm -hmm. and that's what what's been your favorite thing so far and that's what i'm going to do the uh 24 hour stream so i was going to do it today but i didn't realize how tired i was going to be after traveling and fucking going on like two different trains and all this shit i did not realize and i also didn't get here until like 3 30 so i didn't want to start my 24 hour stream at 3 30 i wanted to do it in the morning so because i want to do stuff in kyoto which you need to do during the day like go see the nature and stuff uh, which I can't do at 3.30 in the afternoon because the sun goes down pretty quickly from that point on. So I was like, let's just do it tomorrow. So when I uh, wake up, that's when I'm going to do it, homie. My favorite thing so far, I don't know, dude. Like, just the convenience in Tokyo is very convenient, dude, um, to be honest. Now, Kyoto is probably going to, like, I'm going to love the nature. Like, I love nature, so when I see Kyoto, I haven't seen really any part of it. I went to a pizza place and I see it got food. When I see uh, the nature of it, then I'm probably going to enjoy that the most because I really do like nature. So, uh, no, Justin, I'm not going to do a sleep stream because what's the point of that? It's maybe, well, during the 24 hour portion tomorrow, sure, but not tonight. Uh, how long is the website going to be down? I don't know. We're working on it, Prisbane. We're trying to make it uh, something more unique, but it's not network. It's not like a network, so. Genkai Deska, I don't know what that means, little boom, but thank you, dude. I appreciate that, homie. By the way, you can smoke in here, which everyone fucking does. Like, like you walk into Genkai the, Deska. You walk into these hotels, and literally, it just smells like cigarette smoke, dude. It's, it's kind of uh, if you're an addict, do not go, do not come to Japan, homie, for real. To be honest, I don't smoke cigarettes now. You. I, I, I don't, Artie. I'm just only smoking while I'm in Japan. Um, because why not, dude? It's just what everyone else does. It's part of the culture, so... I mean, I don't want lung cancer, though. I wish they just had... Go to Philippines or Thailand Ice. If they had vapes here, that'd be much better. Um, I might... I mean, no. I, Philippines, maybe. But like, Thailand is like... I don't know. It's kind of dangerous there, so I don't want to... It to be all... I don't know. I don't want it to be all dangerous, dude, so... I don't want to get, like, murdered in Thailand, so... Uh, this is just my merch, dude. Uh, so that's it. But, I mean, I looked at some stuff to do in Kyoto, and it looks pretty cool. It's like, they have a bamboo forest. They have the, the Nara, where all the deer are. They have, um... They have, um... I was thinking about cigarettes against my eye. The smoke. 
They have um, other like nature stuff, like temples and shit. So we're gonna have to go see the temples and the nature and all that stuff. Uh, and then sometime during this week, I'm probably gonna stay in Kyoto for probably two days, and then maybe go to Hiroshima, and then uh, not to go to Hiroshima, but we have to go to Hiroshima to take a ferry to go to the Bunny Island. I want to go check out that island. I don't really care about going to Hiroshima. Um, but then after that, I guess I should probably get back to Tokyo because my flight will be on uh, on Friday. So, but yeah, I don't really want to go to Hiroshima. I just have to, to go to catch the ferry, dude. Come back to New Orleans, Ice. I mean, one day, dude, I will. Thank you, Bryson. I appreciate that. You look really good. Oh, thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah. Go to India and give those T-Series viewers. Hey, yeah, dude, I don't speak Indian. That's how I don't think it's going to work. I, uh, I, I've been really happy while I'm here. I've been really, like, this has been a lot of fun. For sure. I actually drove by Mount Fuji when I took the bullet train. Now, the bullet train had shit internet. Like, there was no way I could stream on there. Like, not very well, at least. It was so shit. It was, like, spotty as fuck. I don't really know why. I think just the parts of Japan we were going through were so fucking, like, foresty. There, there was just no internet. But we went pretty much right by Mount Fuji. And I'll tell you, I've never seen a mountain bigger than that. Like, it does not look like how it does in the photos. Ice. Like, so Last crazy. week, a girl I've been dating for two months broke up with me. Haven't spoken in a week, but miss her. Should I give up? She kissed me on accident last time. Uh, I don't know how long ago last time was, but, I mean, if she... Give it a, give it a couple weeks, bro. It's only been a week, so if you guys just broke up, it makes sense that she's not talking to you. She might be fucking other dudes or something. I don't know. But give it a month, and if she still doesn't talk to you, then call it Rip. Uh, and do something else, dude. Um... But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think I'd live here. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but I don't think I would. I have so many, I have too much responsibilities back at home. Like, I can't live here, dude. Like, I have, how do you even move across the world? Like, I have so much re responsibility at home. Like, I have to be out of the fucking, like, I have to move my shit out of the mansion by the 10th. The 1st to the 10th, something like that, because, uh, like, I'm just trying to get out of L.A. Because, like I said, I'm I high AF, bro, kilometers. I'm not doing the filming permit bullshit. Um, yeah, Mount Fuji is some high, is the tallest mountain I've ever seen. That shit looks crazy in person, dude. So I have no idea. Um, SJC isn't a bad person. He just never stops talking about him or Paul or anyone else. What do you mean? Oh, I saw, I, oops. I saw that the, I was playing RuneScape on this, uh, computer earlier, if you didn't, if you couldn't tell. Um, I saw that the, uh, the IRL News channel might have got striked, apparently. Apparently SJC strike them, so he's on a striking rampage, dude. Good thing I don't use anybody's clips on my shit anywhere. I was hoping to meet you. Artie, where are you from, dude? I mean, you could still meet me one day, bro. We could still meet each other for sure. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go to Osaka. Like, I kind of want to, but, it, you know, it's just another city. It's just like Tokyo, and it's kind of far from Kyoto, and I don't know. I mean, Kyoto's much different than Tokyo. That's why I went here. But Osaka is very similar to Tokyo, I think. So I don't know, like, what's the point of going? Um, it's really, it's like kind of out of the way and far from what I'm trying to do on my schedule thing. I want people to come to Kyoto, though, if they live around this area and show me around. That'd be cool. No wife, no house, no kids, responsibility, by the way. Yo, Cody, you know, you can have responsibility without a wife, kids, and uh, a house. I mean, good to see you, Abby, bro. This improved my night. I was really worried about you, bro. Love you. No, it's all good. I'm here. I was just, like I said, I set myself up so I didn't have so I had a place to sleep. Cause Dang, I'm homie, I've been there. How funny is the sandals at the showers and everywhere? Go find some cats outside. Lol, you and friends will be welcome in New Zealand in this scuffed pool house. Dude, when I was eating pizza outside, um, there was four stray cats that walked up to me. They just walked up to me and sat down, and I was feeding them, dude. And there's like, fucking birds and shit. Like, I don't even know. Cats run around the city, dude. Like, there's legit fucking cats that just walk around that are fucking wild. Like, wild stray cats. And they, they look fucking nasty, dude. Like, they're gross. Their fucking fur is disgusting. But it's just, I've never seen that before. Just wild cats, dude. That just blows my mind. Um... And then this city is so much more peaceful than Tokyo. It's very, very nice, very peaceful. It's very, everyone, it's like chill, you know, I like this. Like, if I were to live in Japan, I'd probably live in Kyoto more than Tokyo, dude. It's not as convenient. I mean, it's still pretty convenient. There was a vending machine on every block, but it's, um, 
it, it's more so like it's just peaceful. It's like you know, it's like getting away. It's like uh, going to Oklahoma in the United States. You know what I mean? It's just like getting away from it all, which is quite nice. Uh, thank you, Logan. I appreciate that, homie. I just let me be real though. You should follow through with the permit for a couple events in LA for you to park. Enjoy this free super chat. Shit. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to. Here's the thing. I could do. I could get a filming permit and stay in LA for a little bit and do events there. But why? The filming. They only pay thirty two hundred dollars a month. Like fuck that. They can suck my ass, dude. Thirty two hundred dollars a month, bro. That, like it's not worth it. Like that's a lot of money. That's not worth it. I'd rather just move. But for, for the thirty two hundred, I could just move, and then do perm and then do events and stuff, and not have to worry about paying that every month. Like you know what I mean? So that's fucking retarded. And the responsibilities I was talking about earlier was moving. <laughs> like I can't just leave Voldasad by himself to move. Blade already moved out. The only people at the house are literally the butlers and Voldasad. So, uh, you know, I can't just leave him by himself, dude. So, as much as I would love to just ditch and stay in Japan, dude, but <laughs> that would just be awful. Um, but I don't know. I mean, if I think about it, though, if I lived in, like, say, a hotel pod for the next two months, let's see, how much would this cost? Let me see. $40. Wow. Less than two thousand dollars a month, dude. It's literally fourteen hundred dollars a month, dude. I, I would totally live in this for like two months, dude. This thing is not bad at all. It's twelve hundred or fourteen hundred dollars, dude. Yes, this is another cigarette. No, I'm. I, just, let me just clarify. I haven't started smoking cigarettes. I hate cigarettes. This is nasty as fuck. But since I'm in Japan and there's no vapes. I want to just relax, and, you know, I do like nicotine, it is, it is a nice, uh, it does feel nice, so, I'm sort of forced to smoke cigarettes because I don't have a vape. You can say somewhere better for less, like, where raw? I mean, this is pretty good, like, the good, good internet, good computers, good, you have a shower downstairs, they have a laundry, laundry machine downstairs, they have, uh, Do you think you will come back to Japan soon? Yeah, I mean, I would love to come back to Japan. I'd love to live here, dude, to be honest. Let me show you guys. When we go out and I show you guys the outside. I'm going to go to bed. Sorry, but she and man, take care. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that. Let me let me, let me me tell you something. When we go outside and you guys see Kyoto, you're gonna it's going to blow your mind. It literally looks like I'm in a Naruto village. Um, I thought Tokyo was a Naruto village. No, I was fucking wrong, dude. Tokyo is like is any, any city in an anime, dude. Kyoto is literally a village in Naruto. Literally the leaf village, bro. Like, they have fucking, like, just... Everything is so... Asian, dude. And, like, old school shit, dude. Which is weird. It's like some... Re it's real Japan, dude. It's real, real Japanese stuff. Which is, uh, kind of mind-blowing to me. Like, Tokyo's a culture shock, but this is, like, even more, like... It's unbelievable to me how beautiful everything looks. And the nature is really nice. Just, everything's clean. There's no trash. It's just amazing, dude. Um, so it's nice. We'd like to see you when you're back home. and know you're super busy. Yo, Cole, it's all good. When I get back, just uh, I'll hit you up or just come over to the house, dude, honestly. And it's all good. I'm not even talking about cherry blossoms, Cloud 10. I'm talking about just, you know those little, what are those fucking trees called? You know those like little tiny trees that are like this big? Imagine those, but like 10 feet bigger, but everywhere. Like everywhere, dude. Also, I haven't seen any, I haven't seen a single American all day. A bonsai, is that what it's called, a bonsai tree? Yeah, a bunch of those everywhere, dude, but they're like 10 feet tall. And there's like, there's, I haven't seen any bamboo yet, though, but I don't know. I keep getting smoke in my eye, dude. Like, I don't know, this, this place is sick, though. Um... Let me see, I wonder if it's dark outside this point but yeah I'm, I'm excited I'm excited to uh, like I said 24 hour stream do that tomorrow but I'm really really excited now when we do the 24 hour stream I have to be careful because I don't want to leak 
my shit because motherfucker, there's only this is not a big city and like I'm not trying to get fucking like kicked out of fucking my hotel and shit. So that would not be fun. Go to South Korea at some point. I do want to go to South Korea. If I didn't have to move, I would definitely go there. But unfortunately, I have responsibilities. I can't just stay here all day. This should be a joint. You're right. I wish it was a joint. I woke up to loud as thunder. It's 5 a.m. Go back to sleep. All good, Justin. That's the bad thing about Japan, though. If I lived here, like, the time zones are just awful. Like, it's so... Like, you're isol... Like, in Asia, you're isolated from the rest of the world, time zone-wise. You know what I mean? It's, like, so different, dude. Yeah, the smoking room is kind of nasty smelling, but the whole the whole hotel smells like smoke, so it's fine. It's not a big deal. I just hope I don't get cancer within the, the two weeks that I've been here, so. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we have Nara. I want to go see the nature. I want to see the, the you know, Kyoto and bamboo forests. Um, and then after that, I'll probably stay in Kyoto for a day just tomorrow, and then we can go and uh, take the train to uh, Hiroshima to try and take a ferry to uh, Bunny Island. And then after that, I mean, like I said, just probably back. Show us the hallway again before you go to bed or whatever that was interesting to see. I mean, do you guys want to see the hotel? I don't really want to show too much of it, to be honest. But it is pretty interesting. I'll show you the hallway again. Give me top five places I should go on my trip. Is Vold going to move with you or is he moving out? Uh, no, he'll stay with me. Um, Japan is number one place. Iceland's number two place. Are you going to go outside? Amsterdam's number three. America's number four. The number five is wherever. Um, no, I'm probably not going to go outside today. I'm just uh, saving it for tomorrow. I'd rather be able to, I'd rather get up early night so I can wake up early and then we can start the 24 hour stream then. Why do you seem so stressed or just tired? Well, I mean, I'm just tired. It's been a long day today, but I'm also, you know, I mean, I'm happy here, but I'm just thinking about, like, back at home, dude, that fucked situation back at home. Like, I can't help but think about the, the situation I have back in L.A. And, like, I'm not looking, I just, I'm not looking forward to going back, you know what I mean? I'm not looking forward to, to going back into that depressing-ass city. Like, it, it saddens me, and it makes me really nervous and stressed out, because I don't want to go back. And then I also have to try and, like I said, get, I still need to get my computer back from the FBI. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm trying to worry about that too. But, you know, like I said, when we go back to LA, I'm probably going to move within the fucking month or within the, you know, within the two weeks. Cause I can't, like, I don't want to be there anymore. It's so depressing, dude. And it just saddens me. How long is it going to take? Uh, I don't know. To be honest, get my shit back. I don't know, bro. They said it was supposed to be soon, but like, I don't believe anything they say. So, I don't know. It's, it's fine. It's not a big deal, but, you know, it is what it is. Orange County is all right. I moved here. Yeah, but here's the thing. Orange County is cool. The thing about Orange County is it's still expensive tax-wise. Like I like, think you would love Australia. Equally good nature sites and no language barrier. I mean, hey, that sounds good. New Zealand is probably better for nature, and I've never been to either one, but from what I've seen online, New Zealand looks beautiful. But I do want to visit both, obviously, so, um, we'll see. Let me show you the hallway again. It's your ass, but I don't want to show too much, but it's, it is really cool. This is the 
it's for with. Shower is 500 yen. Sorry, this is a cigarette vending machine. Only one toilet, yes. Then they have all these machines. Excuse me. San Diego is like a whole nother state. So here's the thing about California. The taxes are so high there. If I'm not going to live in LA, I'd rather move out to California, right? Go somewhere where the, cha where the taxes are much cheaper. It just makes the most sense. A lot of anxiety in there. No, it's nice. Like, I mean, it's, here's the thing. It's kind of like, no, it says, there's this ashtray here. It's literally, it says smoking. This is a smoking room. Trust me. Here's the thing. Um, At first, when I first got in here, I had a little bit of anxiety. My bed is that my bed is literally this. I'm literally laying on this mat. This is it's a mat. There's a phone. Literally, it's a mat. And then you put your shoes under them, underneath the mat. When you walk in, that's where my shoes are. And it's scuffed as fuck, homie. And, but it's it looks fine, you know. I put a little blanket down, so it's fine. No, only one person allowed in the room at a time, so no sex happens in here, dude. I mean, it's forty dollars, so you know it is. It's totally fine. Now, when I first got here, I had some anxiety because I was like, okay, I can hear so many people outside the room. I can hear my neighbors, and I'm like, this is just a weird, like I'm like a small box, dude. This is just weird. But uh, after about an hour of being in here, I was like, actually, this ain't too bad. So. I think I can handle it. Um, here's the bad part about it was, I went out and got pizza. I thought the door stayed unlocked, because you can't lock the door from the outside. And I'm trying to talk to them, I'm like, hey, how do I, uh, how do I lock the door? And they just, you know, like, I couldn't understand what the fuck they were saying, so I just went out. But then when I came back, I, I realized that the door actually did lock, because when you walk out of the room, you scan your key to leave the building, and it automatically locks your room. And then when you walk in, you can scan your key to come back in and it unlocks your room automatically, which is sort of crazy. I can lay straight down. Yeah, look at this. With just enough room, dude, so it's fine. This is one of the lame pods. There's really nice ones that look futuristic. Really? Well, somebody's going to have to link me some nice uh, hotel pods in Kyoto. I didn't really look around too much for pods. I literally just, I mean, it's not that uncomfortable, dude, it's fine. Um, I literally just typed in Kyoto Pod Hotel or something, and this is one of the first ones that came up. Um, and it is also a good price, too. Like, I mean, sure, there are probably some pods that are like 60 or or $100 each, but why? I would just get a normal hotel, bro. There's a fucking, like, a really nice hotel in Kyoto for $130. I would just get that instead, you know? And the, and I specifically chose this one because it has really, really nice internet, so. Like, it's almost a gig up and a gig down, so. It's pretty good. Let me see. Thank you, Two Scopes. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you very much, dude. But... I'm kind of sad that my uh, my girlfriend is uh, leaving. CX in the chat. All of a sudden, Lucha back to LA tomorrow. I'm gonna be alone across the world by myself, and it kind of sucks. Like I wanted to extend my girlfriend's flight as well, but I was like, it was three hundred dollars, and I was just like, I don't want to do that. I know I'm chain smoking right now, dude. This is not good for me, but typically this would be a, a vape, so. Unfortunate. That is what it is, though. You should extend her stay. I for three hundred dollars, like it's not worth it, dude. To be honest. CX in the chat. I already did three hundred dollars for my own flight too. So 
sometimes you just want to chill and smoke a pack. I mean, I've never smoked a cigarette before before I came here, to be honest. So this is weird for me. I'm definitely not going to smoke when I get out of here because I do not like it. <laughs> it does not taste good. I smell like shit constantly. Like, I smell like smoke. And Can you hit up that shad good-looking guy from the other day? I love him. Feels bad last Sonos because it is so early. That's okay. Yeah, he's in Tokyo, though. We're, uh, we're three hours away from Tokyo, so it's fine. Um, no, I'm not gonna keep doing cigarettes, please. You don't have to worry. I hate cigarettes. I fuck, fucking hate them so much. I'd rather vape or just do nothing. How long do you think you'll be streaming tonight? I don't know. We're just chilling, dude, honestly. Um, yeah, the bullet train only took, it took like two and a half hours and then another hour, 30 minutes of just bullshittery, you know, stopping at stops and, you know, waiting for people to get on and off and stuff, so... The train, it didn't feel like it was going 200 miles an hour. It was weird. But it clearly was, because we got across the island in literally two hours. So, it's not bad. Thank you, Logan McCoy. Appreciate that, homie. Thank you very much, dude. Um, I would have I streamed a little bit of RuneScape, but unfortunately, uh, my laptop uh, charge plug doesn't work with the plugs here. They're American plugs, but it's one of these three-prong plugs, and the wall plugs here only have two-prong plugs, unfortunately. I could stream it off of the actual computer that they have here, but I'd rather not log in all my shit on a Japanese computer, or on any computer that's not mine. And everything's in Japanese, too, so I don't even understand what the, what the hell it says and how to work it, so... I literally figured out how to download RuneLight, and that was it. <laughs> You probably converted CX the in the chat. Maybe, but it's not really a big deal, dude. It's fine. I mean, I'm not really too worried about it. I don't need to charge my laptop at the moment. Yeah, but I was, uh... I really wanted one of those guys. Wanted, wanted, I really wanted Boldisad or somebody to come with me, but... I mean, they didn't want to pay the $150 for the train. To come over here, which I don't blame them. One hundred fifty dollars train rides, fucking expensive. Uh, thank you, TV. Appreciate the uh, the member, dude. Thank you very much, homie. You know, I was really trying to convince Voldus, and I was like, dude, come on, just pay one hundred fifty dollars. And he's like, no, nah, I don't want to pay the one hundred fifty. I'm like, dude, you're gonna miss out on experience here. When's the last time? You're, or when's the next time you're gonna come for, to Japan, homie? So, should have paid for them, and nah. dude, it's one hundred fifty dollars a a piece. What do you mean? I'm not gonna pay for everybody to come. That's, uh, a lot CX of, that's in the a lot chat. Of money and, uh, I don't, what do I get out of that? You know what I mean? Because here's the thing only one person can go in a pod at a time. And obviously, they'll know if more than one person is, is in here because you can hear everything and they're not stupid. They have cameras. Um, so I'd have to pay for their pods too. Like, fuck no. <laughs> like, that's a lot of money. Which, I mean, if they all came, we'd probably just get a normal hotel room in that case, but. I don't know. It, it is what it is, I guess. So do you think you're going to be lonely by yourself? I mean, yeah, I'll be lonely, but it's not too bad because I'm, you know, streaming, so it's not going to be that lonely, to be honest, but, uh. Yeah, I mean, earlier today when I got the Kyoto, and I just, I set my stuff up here, and I went and got pizza real quick, I was like, damn, no, nobody speaks English, everything is so different, I'm the minority, and everyone's laughing at me, like, I was trying to, like, speak to them in Japanese, and they were laughing at me, and I'm just like, I'm like, what am I doing wrong, I, I'm trying to speak Japanese, I'm trying to speak English, like, I, I'm being laughed at, dude. So I just felt, uh, I mean, I didn't really care, but it was just like, damn, I, we're, I, this sucks. Like, I'm alone right now. <laughs> if it doesn't feel like 200 miles an hour because it floats on the rails, well, that makes sense then. People seem to think, what the fuck did you say? People seem to think that you don't have to worry about money or some shit. Well, yeah, I mean, here, well, here's the thing. Fuck, I'm with this, I hate this fucking phone. Um, all because you make good money doesn't mean you should spend all of your money. You know what I mean? So... Spending six hundred dollars for everyone to come with me would have been nice, but it's like stupid for me to do. You know. So I don't know. It's better than talking to yourself. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, I do talk to myself, though, so it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, I'm also on RuneScape, you know, I, I play RuneScape, so I have my clan chat to keep me company, I suppose. Wish you thought about that two years ago. Yeah, me too, homie, <laughs> to be honest. But then we went, I've got the, half the content that we've had, so I'm not really regretting that part. Hey, Paul, love the new content direction you're going in. Keep the good work. Appreciate it. Early stream. Also, nice catching you early in the morning. Historic, what are you, uh, European, I'm assuming? Yeah, I don't really know what the what con what direction my content's going to go, to be fair. I mean, the only thing I really want to work on right now, because we all need to work on something, and I, I need to work on a lot of things. So I think the main thing I should work on right now is trying to you know, uh, fix my image. I don't want people to think I'm a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think that's what I want to work on. I don't want people to think like when they, when they think of my name, they think of like toxic person or like tox toxicity or toxic anything. Don't really know how I'm going to change that outlook, but I would really love to because, and I'm going to try to, because yeah, it sucks. Like, I saw this thing on Twitter that really made me feel bad. It was like, somebody was, some, some girl was asking like, hey, are there any Americans that are in Japan recently? I'd love to hang out with them. And then uh, somebody tagged me and she was like, oh no, or something. And I'm just like, damn, that fucking sucks. Like, that feels bad, man. Like, I would have loved to fucking hang out with some, uh, some other American, you know, fucking person, dude. It works, but it's so impressive with a lack of college Japan. Go in places that can continue the pattern is a great idea. That's true. You should talk to Sam Pepper about that kind of thing. I'd rather not, dude. Yeah, but I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, but it's just like, uh, you know, it is what it, it's just whatever. It'll, it'll come, you know, it'll be fixed with time, you know, if time fixes all. Bro, I've been talking to myself a lot lately. I'm in Orange County. Don't know anyone here. Just adjusting. Bro, talking to yourself is the best thing in the world. Keep the trolls and kick the toxic people. Well... Um, you know, no CX network is a start, you know, no one can, uh, so even, so here's the thing with the CX network gone, I can, everything that could make me look bad is all on me now, uh, which is, you know, something I can, you know, which makes it a lot easier for me, you know, before if I, somebody on the network does something that's like fucked up, you know, obviously it looks bad on me too. So, with the network gone, I don't have to worry about that. I only have to worry about doing stuff myself, you know what I mean? So, I can easily, a lot easier to, you know, fix my image that way. Because, uh, I don't think I'm that toxic, to, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm that toxic. Like, I don't think I do that much fucked up shit. So, hopefully, it won't be too hard. Uh, don't ever apologize for being you, man. If there's anything you want to change about yourself, all you have to do is do it. You don't have to explain or cater to anyone. I mean, sort of, but as a streamer, you sort of have to cater to, to your community a little bit. You know, doing things for others are great. Like, raise money for good causes. You should do more honest things. More of those things to spread positivity. Um, I don't think charities really help anyone's image. Okay, let's say I do a, a stream for charity, and I give the money to the charity. Nope, I don't think anyone's going to care, <laughs> to be honest, because unfortunately, people only care about the negative shit. Like, you know what I mean? You know? I've helped a lot of people. Um, I'm not even talking about homeless crackheads, I'm talking about like... like other streamers, for example, you know, I've raided other streamers and, you know, I've gotten them free Twitch Prime subs or I've gotten them a following a little bit and, I don't know, I've done a lot of good things that's not charity stuff and none of that gets written down. Nobody cares about that shit. They only care about the, the bad things that have happened. Which kind of sucks. Although I, and then I've helped a lot of crackheads that have backstabbed me. Yes, that's true. But, uh, you know, that's, that doesn't help my case at all. Helping a crackhead only makes me look bad. Thank you, White Spider. I appreciate the, uh, the member, dude. Thank you very much, homie. 
like I said in my tweet earlier, it's or my tweet a couple days ago, I should have not helped half the people that I've helped. <laughs> like, it sucks, dude. And it sucks that some of these people still exist to, to cause havoc, and people associate them with me. Like, it sucks. You know, like, uh, there's plenty of people that are out there right now that are fucked up individuals. CX in the chat. Because I associated myself with them um, and, and gave them anything, it's, they, people, other people outside the community still associate them with me currently, and it sucks. Excuse me. Uh, the Coke does taste a lot better, yeah. Young, it's really good. Am I talking about Sam Pepper? No. Sam was actually a good guy, for the most part. Um, I'm talking, you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about a bunch of people, dude. Uh, any of the fucking crackheads or homeless people. Um, any of the fucking idiots that have tried to go out and, you know, their content was fighting people. Uh, you know, fucking any of the people that have doxed other people. Like, just shit like that. Like, it's just, like, I don't want. Like, it sucks. Like, you know, I apologize on Twitter for giving those people any platform to begin with. Give it time to keep moving in the direction you're going. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be good. Um, for the most part, hopefully. People aren't stupid, though. They can see through that bullshit, though they can't shoot her for sure. The point is fundraising for people struggling to survive in terms of illnesses, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, that's true, Mike. I just, uh, I'm sort of afraid that if I did any sort of thing like that, there will be some trolls that will try to make the situation CX more, in the chat. Like, fucked up than what it is. Okay, for example, when I did the, the charity stream at the I Love Sweet Tea place, we raised, I don't remember how much money we raised, $4,000 or something, $3,000, I don't remember how much, in the two hour time span, and that was all given to charity, but nobody talked about the money that was given to charity. Nobody gave a shit. They only talked about when I got swatted during the charity event. And they were like, saying that I am ruining this guy's business because I got swatted at his business while we're doing a charity event. Like, you know what I mean? It just made me feel really fucking bad. And uh, it made everyone else only talk about that, which sucks. Um, Which I suppose is my fault, but, uh, you know, whatever, I guess. You're doing better with VODs, by the way. Yeah, I mean, we've been uploading VODs a lot better, so. Thanks for the streams the past few days, Ben. Thanks for the streams. The past few days been in a beat block, but the scenery has inspired me. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that, homie. Yeah, I mean, I only, uh, I love to inspire, hopefully. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I should, I should not smoke another one. Thank you, dude. Fuck cigarettes. I'm just like, uh. I just wish I had my vape, you know? Like, I don't even care so much about the nicotine. I care more about the the inhaling of the smoke and blowing it out, you know? Like, it's like, uh, I'm like fidgety, so it's nice. I'm not addicted either. Like, I don't have to smoke the cigarettes. I just, it's like a fidget thing. So this is nice to do. Good stream idea. Give out food to people in Scooter and listen to people's stories. Do it on a schedule basis. Raise awareness for people in LA. I don't think I want to do anything with homeless people on Skid Row, to be honest. I don't think... I should stay away from that kind of shit. I don't think people will look at that in a neg- in a positive light. I think they'll only look at it in, like, a very negative, like, he's using homeless people for content kind of light. And I think they will... Like, I just don't think it'll look good, you know? And I think I should stay away from anything that... Any homeless stuff. You know, if I'm going to help people, I need to help people that actually have something to lose because otherwise they're going to use they're going to take advantage of the help you know what I mean and then you know if I volunteer at a soup kitchen Jay same thing could happen you know the soup kitchen gets callers or you know some fucked up shit like I don't know just not really a fun idea You can't control what people do with your generosity at the end of the day. No one could take away that from you. Treat everyone like a mirror and watch how you reflect in their eyes. I mean, I try to, I try my best to, uh, or I, I, I think I try my best to be good to people, 
because I obviously want them to be good back to me. Um, like I said uh, before, some of the people I've had in my life, I've been good to, but like, not on like a friend level, and that was my, obviously, that was my fault, so, um, you know, you know, like somebody like Burger Planet, I could let him stay at my house, but I'm not really his friend, so it's like, you know, he treated me the same way, but it's like, uh, yeah, I want to just support stuff like that. You ran a successful homeless shelter for two years, what more do these people want? No, that's what I'm saying, dude. I'm only going to associate myself with people who have something to lose. Um, I'm not going to associate myself with fucking homeless people and and fucking idiots and leeches and fucking whatever, dude. Like, I don't want to do that. And I'd rather associate myself with people who... I wouldn't say, like, on the same level um, as, you know, what, where I am with my career, but... I mean, that's typically how people hang out with each other. They hang out with people on the same, uh, like, social level as them. Uh, you know, if you're a CEO, you're probably hanging out with other CEOs. If you're a cop, you're probably hanging out with other cops, and vice versa. But, uh, since I'm in a very unique situation, that doesn't really work. So, I should just hang out with people who, I don't know, have a job. That's a good first fucking step. Uh... But then after that, hang out with people who have more than, I don't know, $2,000, uh, sorry, $200 in their bank account. That's another good step. And then go from there. Focus working with people who are established. Yeah, well, I, I'm just going to focus on myself, you know, first and foremost. But, um, you know, you say in the chat, uh, Young, that it's cool that I hang out with everybody. And, you know, it is. I do like hanging out with everybody. But it just sucks sometimes because some people take true advantage of that. You know, I do want to... I, I enjoy talking to viewers and fans and stuff that come over to the house. But don't really think I should hang out with, uh, with, with everybody that comes to the house. Like, all the time. Because that's how people take advantage What's up, Grumio? How you doing? I'm doing good, bro. How the fuck are you doing, homie? Like, I like fans. I like viewers. And I'll say hi. But I don't think they should... I don't think I should let them into my life um, as much as I have, because... You don't understand how many times people have... How you feel about Mexican Andy quitting live stream, man? You guys don't understand how many times people have come into my house. I've been nice to them. I give them weed. I smoke them out. And I go on Reddit, and they, like... Or something, and they, they've recorded my conversation. Uh, or they're trying to blackmail me with shit. I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm like, okay, you're an asshole. I'm like, I thought we were cool, but you're being a dick. Good example is the fucking Dow Brothers. Those kids are so fucking... Like, imagine. You gave them a place to live for a fucking month, and, they're being, and they want to, like, record conversations and shit. Uh, how do you say I do fucking hard drugs and shit? Max Andy's not going to quit live streaming. I'm pretty sure about that, but if he does, then feels bad, man, but... I don't think he's going to quit live streaming, dude. At all, homie. Yeah, Artie, it sucks. I mean, there's a lot of snake-ass people in this world, but it's okay. You should come to Australia, man. Bring your own... <laughs> yeah, I, I will. You should come to Australia, man. Being on your own was the best move. You're looking a lot better, and I feel the positivity with you. Avoid the drama. Yes, thank you, dude. Um, I... <laughs> I will be in Australia sooner or later, just when I'm done with my responsibilities in America, of course. Uh, yeah, Mexican is not going to go back to fucking packing boxes in a warehouse, dude. He's not going to do that. He's 100% going to keep streaming until he makes doesn't make money anymore. That's how it's going to work. I mean, he's probably just going to join Casey Streamer House and go from there. And I don't know. I'm curious to see where all these guys are six months from now. Like, I'm curious where Casey is six months from now, or Bone Clinks or something. Uh, I do think you were mixing business too much in your personal life but well, yeah I mean my personal life is my business though Mr. Big unfortunately obviously I'm sort of trying to separate that now but uh, my streams literally started with like the content is literally my personal life for the most part thank you chemical yeah I mean I heard 
talk to Chud about that. Uh, I don't want to go on fucking D Live, fucking Alky Boone. <laughs> you you got a good donation from it, so congratulations. But I don't want to go on D Live. It's like a short term thing. It's like short term money. I don't care about that. You know what I mean? I don't want to go on it. I, it does. It doesn't look appeasing to me. I don't care about potentially winning. A fucking two thousand. Did you see Casey on stream tonight? Apologize to you about what he said when he was drunk the other night. T. That surprised me. I did not see that. No, I did it. If he did, if he apologized, then that's um, then that's good. I'm I'm glad that he uh, you know he did that. But that still doesn't excuse this. That doesn't excuse his behavior. Still, you know what I mean? Like, and there's other things that Casey does that has left a bad taste in my mouth other than just talking shit he's like like you know he's just giving money to people that have personally fucked me over and like he supports them and it's just like why especially when I warned him about those people like he cares way too much about what reddit thinks and I, I would say Casey is how I used to be like a year ago or like six, like a year ago or something, right? Uh, and I'm glad that I've moved on from that because I, I don't want to be controlled by people on the internet. That's not fun. Uh, you know, I like taking, you know, I like listening to what people say and, you know, uh, going off that, <laughs> but I definitely don't want to be absolutely controlled. Um, here's the thing that I've learned in the past, uh, two years of streaming that Casey has yet to learn. The cycle's going to hit and it's going to hit him hard. He's naive. And when the cycle hits, he's going to be like, damn, I really wish I did not cater to the wrong people because now I'm stuck with these people. And then after uh, you want to not be stuck with them, you're fucked. It's like uh, you're kind of kind of really hard to get away to get away from, dude. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's fucked. And I'm not saying that I catered to the wrong people, but I definitely listened to a lot of the wrong people a lot of the time a year ago. And uh, when I was ready to not listen to them anymore, it was like, it got really, really toxic. And it got really, really, not really toxic so much. I guess what the word is, is like, it got overbearing, I suppose. I don't really know. But we'll see. Casey will get the, hit the cycle real soon because I don't think he's ever gonna show that phone. He does love your content, though. I mean, that's fine. He can King of live stream, good guys, haters just haven't watched enough content. I've seen you help tons of friends and leeches. Only the real knows. Yeah, Frozen Poseidon. Thank you, dude. I, I appreciate that. Um, real ones. <laughs> I've, uh, there is a huge burden lifted off my shoulders from helping, or not, not helping, from, uh, just focusing on myself. Like, I wait, like, not having to worry about the CX network has lifted so much stress off of me, dude, because now I, like, I wake up, I don't have to worry about 30 other people doing something that makes me look bad, you know, there are numerous times I've gone on live stream fails, and it's like, Mexican Andy does something, Scotch and Carrie does something, blah, 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 all these people, somebody does something that looks negative, and then in the comments, it's all, like, reflected on Makes the me sick to see people take advantage of your help. I'm a veteran and streamer with PTSD fighting for my freedom and my kids daily from a flawed family justice system. It do anything for help, man. Well, thank you for your service, dude. It sucks that, uh, the PTSD, but, you know, hopefully you'll make it through that. Just, uh, you know, hopefully you got people, good people around you to help you. Actually, you know, I've learned a lot in the past two years, and you know one of the most important things that I've learned? is my change in values. <laughs> Growing up, I've only ever valued money and success because that's what my parents taught me. They said, you need to become successful in life. You need to make something of yourself. You need to, you know, you need to do, you need, you need to not be fucking homeless. That's what they basically told me. You need, like, that's the most important thing in life. And, you know, it's true. It's very true. You need to be, like, trying to be successful, have, having ambition is very important, but now, being where I am in my life, I disagreed with, I disagree with a lot of those values. I think it's important, because you don't want to be a bum, 
but I don't think it's the most important. I think I think there's better values out there than that kind of stuff. For example, I think personal relationships and karma are way more important values. Now, I always thought karma didn't exist, and I still don't really think it exists. But I'm sort of just going to like, I've been pretending it exists. And you know what? That's been really good because it's, it, it, it keeps you in, in line. Like, it keeps you in check. It keeps you, like, from doing shitty stuff. Thank you, Hermit Chong. I appreciate the, uh, the member, homie. Thank you, homie. Thank you very much, dude. Um, so, you know what I mean? It keeps you in check even when no one's looking, when no one's around. So karma's a good value. And then the other good value is personal relationships because you can have all the money in the world. And nobody, nobody believes this. I didn't believe this until I was in the situation. But you can have all the money in the world. And Paul Gamino, king of babysitting homeless crackheads, glad you're focusing on yourself. Thank Keep you. building your own brand and no one else's. Thank you, homie. It's like if, if if you have the money, it doesn't matter if you're fucking hate everyone around you. Like it just doesn't matter. Like there were some of those times the past year I would have rather have been alone than with some of the people I was with. And you know what I mean? Like uh, you know. Money is not really something I typically have to worry about. CX in the chat. Um, for the most part, except for recently with the whole moving lawyers, all the blah, 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 all that bullshit. But, um, you know, money is typically not something I, I have to worry about. And, uh, yeah, it just, it never made me happy anyways. Like, I was always like, wow, this put my life, like, I, I, I don't like my life right now. Like, it sucks. But now I'm much happier, even with, like, the situation I'm in with, like, uh, some financial constraint, I still feel much happier than what I did six months ago have with 10 times more in my bank account, like 100%. Because I have a girlfriend that loves me, and I really enjoy her uh, and love her. I have, you've all decided he's a good friend of mine. Uh, Luchador is actually a good guy too, but, you know, he's not going to be around for permanently. Um, probably not at least. Uh, you know, I have, I have that. But let's, let's start with something new. I have my girlfriend, and that's a good first step. And she's taught me a lot of good values as well. So, you know what I mean? And that's that's really uh, been nice. I know, I know people are like, oh, your girlfriend doesn't really like you. Like, she doesn't, she, when, she, when you touch her, she like gets all scared and stuff. But, you know, she's just really shy, dude. That's really all it is. I don't know, what do you guys value? Your girlfriend made you more centered, more professional, you can see the difference. Uh, my girlfriend definitely helped teach me better values. I think that's the main thing, to be honest. She's helped me be more empathetic and teach me better values, you know? Family is a very important thing as well, but I never really knew that because, you know, like I said, my parents taught me, you know, very superficial values, I think. And that's the only thing I really lived on. Small growth can be accomplished too, Paul, and everything has to be a grand scale. I mean, my whole life's been a grand scale, honestly, so <laughs> that's, uh, that's the thing. But yeah, I mean, it's it's great. Like I'm. She wasn't shy when she was hunting down your stream that one day. I mean, she was. Think about it. If I'm in your town you, for probably one time ever, you're probably going to try and stream snipe to say hi. Like... You can still be shy when you do that, but still think, all right, this is my only shot to say hi to him. Thank you, Joshua, for the member, dude. I appreciate that, homie. My honest value re relationships, my relationships aren't doing too well at the moment. Well, that sucks, dude. Hopefully it gets better. Abstract. Um, yeah, I've... Believe this or not, my girlfriend is very, very honest, and she's one of the most... She's the most honest person that I know. And she has taught me that honesty is really, really important. Not even for myself, but hanging around honest people. Like, she, you know... CX in the multiple chat. Times. When she moved in, she was like, Damn, Paul, there's a lot of people around you that uh, suck. Or <laughs> she said something like that. Or, like, very... Everyone around... Like, a lot of people around you are, like, selfish or something. And like she just CX spotted, in the chat. spotted some shit out. And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's true. This is the world I live in. And she's like, well, you can still live in this world without uh, having such shitty people around you. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. So she's been helping me uh, 
you know, just teaching me better values, like I said. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate that, homie. But, yeah, I've never, uh, I've never really been with an honest person before. Not relationship-wise, but even friendship-wise. The past two years, I've been friends with only dishonest people. For the most part. Like, not everybody, but for the most part, right? Like, everyone had, like, an intention or, like, a reason they were here. You know what I mean? Except for, like, some of them. Which... CX in the chat. After a while, I started to be like, okay, this is the norm. But, like, it doesn't have to be the norm. And that's a very unhealthy way to condition my mind. So. She comes from St. Louis. Everyone's honest, like LA. I mean, that's true. I'm going to smoke another one. Sorry. I'm getting really fidgety. I'd like, uh, would like some smoke. Yeah, I don't like the uh, the L.A. mindset being the norm is cancer. Yeah, it's true, Neb. L.A. is fucking cancer. And the people there, like, they just... I don't know. No one's honest. It sucks. Let me turn on the air conditioner. Hold on. See, what does this say? Bro, you're going to give yourself sickness? Nick sickness? Yeah, probably not. Drink something sweet? I have sweet, actually. Move to Orange County. Still really expensive, tax-wise, at least. All right. California's too expensive on the taxes, homie. At least fucked up your brain, to be honest. Mike, you know, it's a weird thing. I, I think LA is like... It, it, it really... Like, it hasn't fucked up my brain. I mean, maybe... It's fucked, up CX my, in the chat. it's fucked up my social standards. I think that's what it's fucked up. Because I'm still a pretty logical person. Like, mentally, I'm still the same. I'm just... I, I just have different social standards. And they've become very negative connotations. Um, you know, I've been... You know, LA has told me to focus on all the negative connotations instead of the positive ones. You know, when you meet people, you think... You typically want to think the best in them, right? Well, when I meet people after living in LA for two years, I only think the worst in them, and then they have to prove to me that they're better than that. And it's a fucking shitty mindset. But, uh, you know, that's why uh, I want to leave that place. Omar, am I smoking cigs to cope with nicotine withdrawals? No, I haven't had any nicotine withdrawals. I mean, like I said, I usually vape, but. I usually vape zero neck. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know. I just, uh, everyone around here fucking smokes. I'm just like, yeah, let's just fucking smoke. I don't know. And so we get out of Japan. Fuck it. You were being a lot optimistic in terms of finding good people while living in LA. LA is a cesspool of fake mo motherfuckers trying to make it by. It's true. Yeah, I have an oral fixation. That's the word. I, I need, like, oral stuff. They are seven star series. Some kind of. When you're coming series. back to Manchester. How does the quality look right now, by the way? I'm using the phone, but it's like, should be good. Uh, I want to go back to Manchester. It's a pretty nice city. I really enjoyed it. Um, but I don't really like England, so probably not too much, not too soon. If you smoke Zero Neck, why not buy a Zero Neck e cig to fidget with? Uh, so all the vapes around here are like fucking $50, and then the juice is like another $50, and cigarettes are $3. This pack of cigarettes cost me $3. <laughs> so I was like, okay. I'd rather not buy a vape that I'm never going to use again when I leave. But I can buy a $3 pack of cigarettes and just fuck it, dude. You know what I mean? So it's just, like, just, I'm never going to, I have a, plenty of vapes at home. I would never use them again when I leave, so. Which is weird. In America, cigarettes are like $15. So they're like mad cheap here. What time is it here? Uh, it is 7 o'clock at night where I am. Do a road trip from Melbourne to Brisbane. I mean, I'll show you. Should, uh, one day, homie, one day. Let me make sure this is going to be on cold here. Yeah, it was on the heater for some reason. Am I just spending money on a vape? I mean, they're expensive here. Yeah, it's really early here. It's only 7 o'clock. Like, the rest of the world, it's so isolated from the rest of the world in terms of time zone. 
I hope you're done with Brent because I've never seen such a bad manager. Well, like I said, when I move, I don't want any LA to follow me. So there's no LA, which means there's no Brent. There's no anybody, no people from LA, no friends from LA. No one's going to follow me. I don't want any of that to follow me, dude. I just want to be on my own accord and figure out shit myself, you know? I don't need people to come with me and, and help me, dude. I've been, I've been tainted by all this shit. I need to fix myself. The issue with LA is that everyone lives here is not from there. Yeah, I mean, it's true, Dylan. Everyone only goes there for You've taken time. cigarettes out of people's mouths. Get rid of that nasty thing. Have you decided what state you are moving to? I think I have an idea, but I don't, like I said before, I don't really want to say where I think I'm going to move because I don't want to, you know, give like a false expectation. Just one day I'll turn on my stream and I'll be like, hey guys, I got the moving truck here. We're just driving over to blank. Here we go. Yes, cigarettes are nasty, of course. Greek, what are y'all saying? Greek, what are you talking about? Let me see, what did you say, Neb? It'd be cool to go back to the East Coast so you could stream better for EU again. I mean, you never know. I'd move to Canada. Dude, I want to stay in the U.S. I don't want to move. I don't think I'm moving outside the U.S. like tax tax purposes, but. Um, I also, you know, I like America. I like Asia a lot, too. Japan's been really, really nice, but I don't know if I want to stay in, in Japan, though. It's just got different standards and stuff. Maybe you might have to come to one of the European countries to get away from LA, yeah, maybe, but I don't really want to live in Europe, dude. You need more normal, healthy people around you, I agree. CX in the chat. When I move, I'm not because I'm not going to become for good friends with anyone that knows me for my stream, I don't think. Like, I don't think. Because I'd be too afraid of becoming LA again. <laughs> To be honest, if you were going to ban from Twitch, what would you use the channel for? I don't know, just playing fucking RuneScape or something. Ever consider traveling to South America? Uh, I want to, but like, I don't know if I should stream it. I want to go to Brazil and Chile, but I don't want caller because Spanish is a, you know, callers might speak Spanish and they, they could fuck me in South America for sure. Have you given Shin Chan any daily shekels? Bro, Shin Chan has been getting all the shekels on me. I, I got like literally, like I said, probably, I don't know, $20 in that little bag, dude. I'm curious to see where all the CX Network people are six months from now. I really, really am. Where do you guys think? Where is everyone going to be? Where am I going to be in six months? Where was I six months ago? I'm trying to think. Six months ago, I was... January, February, March, April... It was November. Six months... Wow, six months ago was only November. That was nothing, dude. November was no different than where I, where I am right now, so... Huh. Eh, I don't know. Six months might be too too soon. Maybe a year from now is what I should say. Where am I gonna be a year from now, homie? Thank you, DA, for the dollar, dude. Appreciate that, homie. Doesn't matter if you wanna leave it behind, don't worry. All good. Dragon Slayer 2, my ultimate Iron Man. Bro, I'll do that way before six months from now. What are you talking about? Of course. Uh, I know everyone's trying to D-Live right now, so maybe I should get on that D-Live hype on me. Half the Andes just want easy money or threatening to quit or burying their soul because of how empty their bank accounts are, apparently. <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone's going to quit streaming, dude. Like, Why? They can even live a normal life and stream on the side. Like, there's no reason to quit streaming, you know? 
Do you think a lot of your values have come with from your girlfriend, or has your experience in Japan made it differently? Um, probably a lot from my girlfriend, and a lot of values, eh, not really from Japan. I, I was starting to get these. What do you think before. of PewDiePie donating to all the CX streamers on DLive? Hey, that's good. He's <laughs> he's got a uh, sponsored deal and he's got to promote it, so it's a good way to promote it. So he's smart. Um, yeah, my girlfriend has helped me with a lot of my values before I came to Japan. When the whole streamer house thing didn't work out, I was like, you know what? I don't like this. I don't like what I'm surrounding myself with. I'm not happy. Doesn't matter. Money doesn't do shit. There's got to be a change. Something's got. Someone's got to be different. And I was confused. I was like, what does that change got to be? Why do I feel this way? And then, you know, that's when I started talking to my girlfriend and confiding in her. Because I've never confided in anyone before, really. And I was just like... And she helped me figure out that it's it's probably the values that I have. I probably value the wrong things. And I've been a lot happier since I've <laughs> valued personal relationships and karma more than anything else. For example... Jesus, let the man have a smoke if he wants to. You sound like nagging wives and mothers. If you live in a city, you breathe in so many toxins, it doesn't matter anyway. For example, before, let's say four months ago, I give a homeless person money. I still feel like shit. I'm just like, wow, I just have less money now. But now, I give a homeless person money, and I'm like, I feel really good about myself. I'm going to have good karma. So, you know, the, the, the change in values is definitely good for my brain. And I know I shouldn't smoke. I, I don't really smoke, so it's like they don't want me to get hooked on it. But I won't because I vape. I have a vape back at home, but you know what I mean? Maybe just move to a small town. More chill. I mean, DMX, that sounds like a good idea. To be honest, that's what I want to do uh, in the long term. I would love to go move. Into, have you guys, has anyone seen Pet Cemetery uh, in the theaters right now? Well, I would love to live in a house that that family lived in. Not ex not exactly the house that I want to fucking die from spirits, but I would love to live in a house like in the middle of like nothing, like just a countryside, have like a bunch of acres of land, just like really. Are, are the investors like not mad at you or something for how much money they wasted? Seems weird for someone to pull away and just say, "Oh well, I guess we lost hundreds of thousands." No biggie. That's what I thought too, but. And I asked them, I'm like, how are you guys not fucking pissed? And uh, the answer they gave was actually kind of funny. It was just like, this is minuscule. In a year you'd be traveling around the world in a happy. What they said was, this is like a minuscule thing. Uh, they, they basically said, uh, I don't know how to explain it. They, they basically said, the amount of stress this would have caused us in the long run would have not been worth like, would have not been worth it. Like, they would have, they were just like, we'll sacrifice $500,000 to not have to worry about this stress anymore, basically. Because they have so much money. <laughs> you created a bipolar Pandora's box who rises falls? Yeah, and it sucks a little bit, but it's like, you know, good and bad, right? So, uh, move to North Korea? Fuck no, dude. In a year, you'll be traveling around the world and happy. I mean, I still want a home base, though. I still want a home. So I can always come back to and like take a you know a month or two off from traveling, right? They memorize their tax bills, claiming it's lost. Yeah, I mean I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a guy with millions and millions of dollars, so I don't know what their perspective is. I can't even fathom wasting five hundred thousand dollars. But I suppose when you have a hundred million dollars, five hundred k is like nothing to you. It's like twenty dollars or something. So. That's, I think, what their mindset was. You could have put a good down payment with all the rent you spent this year. Well, it's not my money, Mike, so... Yeah, of course, I could have just bought a house, right? That was my money, and that's what I would have done if it was my money, dude. Maybe a new manager, but a real one this time doesn't live in your house. Yeah, I don't want a manager, dude. I don't need one right now, and that's, that's just not what I'm focused on right now. No manager... No real manager is going to really want to work with me either until I fix my image. Because how do they get me sponsors? No no company would really want to sponsor me because my image is really fucked up right now. So I need to focus on fixing my image, which 
you know, y'all can help me with that and give me some good suggestions on how I do that. And then, you know, we go from there. I think I'm in a pretty good spot right now, to be honest, because here's the thing. I basically reset my Reddit. Uh, like my Reddit is not like, there's no toxic shit on it at all. It's, it's not really alive and active, but there's no toxic shit. And I would rather have no toxic shit, but dead than toxic and alive. You know what I mean? So I pretty much just hit the reset button on that. And I hit the reset button on a lot of things. So I think it's a good start. I think fixing, fixing my image, hopefully won't be that hard. Hopefully. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, having positive fan base source positivity is a good point. That's true. I mean, I like troll shit. Don't get me wrong. I like troll shit. But I just don't want toxic shit. There's a difference between troll and toxic. 100%. Thank you, Arthur. I appreciate that, dude. Vape companies will sponsor you. Yeah, I mean, they would probably send me free vapes. But I'm talking about, like, real sponsors. That'll pay me like five, ten thousand a month to advertise the product. Fixing your image will means fixing your fan base, which will never happen, sadly. I don't know, Doug. I think it's possible. Why do you say it's not? I mean, I've already hit the reset button on a lot of things, so that's already a good start. The fact that it, the reset button sort of thing worked, it's a good start. Um, I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I think there are much more toxic fan bases out there than us. 100%. Whether they're on YouTube or Twitch, like, there are much more toxic Does this mean no Trump 2020 rallies, damn you, Ice? I mean, we can still do that. just not be toxic about it. Who? Well, I mean, I don't know who. I'm just saying there definitely is. If you're moving, is your girlfriend coming along? Yeah, she is. Her and Bold is sad. There's a portion of this community that's basically 4chan. Yeah, that's true, but they're not the majority, so... And 4chan's fine. Just as long as they don't fucking try to ruin my life, you know what I mean? Try to ruin anyone's life as well that comes around me. Like, it's okay to be a troll. Just don't try to fucking ruin lives. Try a new platform, dude. Way of getting a bit fresh fan base. Well, what do you suggest, Grumio? There's not any other platform besides YouTube and Twitch. Streaming-wise, at least. What's going to happen with Lucha and Nigel? Well, they're probably just going to make their own channels and do their own thing. Thank you, Black Deck. Appreciate that, homie. Thank you for the member, dude. When you were drunk last night, a guy donated saying check your Insta DMs because we want to sponsor you. Check there. Yeah, but I checked and I didn't see it. my first donation ever. I checked and I didn't see anything though. So maybe he just needs to tell me what the title of it is and then I'll check again. You're the most tolerant. Sorry, excuse me. You're the most tolerant entertainer ever in a certain way. Well, I mean, I do my best to be tolerant. I've been a troll before I can be tolerant. I've lived a very, very interesting, uh, had a very interesting upbringing of getting bullied a lot and not confiding in anybody except myself. So I am very tolerant of a lot of fucking bullshit. CX in the chat. I appreciate that, homie. War World of Warcraft and the best manager ever. Okay, dude, come on. He's he's a funny guy, but he's not a manager. He, he's like a, a moderator or something. What's up, Yexi? How you doing? Thank you for your I will thank you for the donation. I am very flattered and honored to be your very first donation. Or don person donated to you. Thank you. A lot of the fan base, which really talks, have been here for a while and probably won't be changing anytime soon. But Doug is fine. Like, every fan base has a little bit of toxic shit in it. You know what I mean? As long as that's not the one, that, that's not the portion that I'm catering to, then it's, I think it's fine. I think we're good. You know what I mean? Really hope you be careful with your future people that you work with you. No BS managers in the long run just cause you too much stress. Yeah, I don't. 
Dude, I don't need, I don't need a manager right now. Like, all a manager does is make you money from brand deals. I don't need that. Right CX now. in the chat. I mean, brand deals would be nice, but I don't need a manager to find those for me. I can find my own brand deals, if need be. How much for a month with 3,500 US do? Uh, for what chemical plays? Yeah, she's just shy author. Moves to Oklahoma? Fuck no. And then stream on DLive? Uh, no, that's a short-term thing, homie. That's a waste of time, honestly. But Keemstar try? Bro, Keemstar's not going to be my manager. It's a meme. He literally is memeing. He has no time to be a manager. And Keemstar's, you know, I don't think... He's an, he's an, he's an influencer, you know? He's an entertainer. He's not a manager, you know? Like, you can't do both. Dylan, World of Warcraft, Andy. The only thing he can do World is of Warcraft, play. Andy is our only hope to fix our image and bring in millions of sponsorship deals. Keemstar can connect you with a lot of people. I mean, the same people that Keemstar would connect me with is the same people that already follow me on Twitter, Mike. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think you'd be better off on your own brand as yourself since at least you can apply your knowledge of what the community wants. You even checked it, but I Twittered into your town to check out moving to with an example of the properties and price. It's a good place to consider it away from the check it. Uh, I get a lot of Twitter DMs. You have to just message me again. Just bump the thread and I'll try to read it again. But I get a lot of Twitter DMs, so it's kind of hard. I think a few months from now you can have a streamer re reunion. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, get invite all the Andes over to a banquet hall. That could be fun, but not all of them, just some of them. Because there are some people I do not want to talk to ever again. There are some people I do n I never want back in my life again, dude. So, you all know who those people are. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, what's the point of fixing my life and then I, if I just invite toxic people back into it six months from now? Oh, I mean, like Kyle, sure. Like, you know, just not like Burger Planet and shit. So, <laughs> thank you, Big Chucker, for the member. I appreciate that, homie. I do have to start choosing people I talk to better. Burgers hanging with Gary today? Yeah. What, what was with that? Gary's hanging out with Burger Planet. Why? Gary, bro, you're too... You're way too good of a person to be hanging out with fucking Burger Planet, dude. Like... If it's for content, sure, whatever. CX in the chat. Just why, dude? <laughs> Just, you don't need Burger Planet, dude, you know? <laughs> Burger isn't that bad. Dude. What advice do you have for aspiring streamers? Burger's pretty bad. Like, burger's not a bad as in, t in terms of, like, being, being like, a thief or something. Or, like, jumping you or something. But he'll, like, a lot. He's, like, just fake, you know? He's, he's just a fake person. Uh, aspiring streamers, you need to be unique and then adapt. Unique, adapt. You need to start with being unique, and then you need to adapt. Because uh, if you don't adapt, you fall off. If you're not unique to start with, nobody will find you. Those, that's the that's the advice I can give you. You smoke what now? No, I don't smoke cigarettes. I just want to clarify this again. I don't smoke cigarettes. It's just because I'm in Japan and everyone else does it. I have no vape, so I'm just like, fuck it, dude. <laughs> Turn off this AC now. Was a member for a year, but after all the streamer house stuff, I dipped. Hope you're getting better. Continue with the good streams. Thank you, Chuck. I appreciate that, homie. Seems like you're back now, which is good. Why does Bone Clicks have the CX News channel? Isn't it yours? Yeah, he stole it. <laughs> Bone Clinks literally stole CX News. He literally stole the channel, which is annoying. But I mean, I don't really care. But it's just like, why? His 20k subs. Like, why the fuck? Does everyone do that? Burger Planet did it. And then Bone Clinks promised me he wasn't going to do it. 
and then he fucking did it. <laughs> so it's like every fucking person is a, is tr- is trash, dude. Like why the fuck? Thank you, Byron, for the number, homie. He earned it. Young, let me tell you how this works. Bone Clinks grew his brand awareness with that channel. He, but he did not earn the channel. You're not supposed to steal a fucking channel. Um, because at the end of the day, you he knew he had the expectation going into it, knowing that that's not his channel. CX in the chat. And what he gets out of it is the donations that he got from CX News, and then the brand awareness for his own Twitch stream. Uh, but he does not own the channel. But he just changed the password and recovery and stole it, so... Which, he doesn't understand that I can terminate that channel anytime I want because I have all the information proving that I owned it. <laughs> uh, I just, you know, obviously I just don't care enough to do that. But if I report the channel, I could terminate it. That's like a stolen channel, but I just, like I said, I don't care enough to do that. Calling people out for being fake, ironic, homie. Thank you, Byron, for member, homie. I appreciate that. That's when I see y'all on Discord. Thank you, Dylan. Dan, I don't think I'm that fake of a person. I'm pretty blunt <laughs> for the most part. You know, I've done, uh, you know, some mistakes that I definitely regret and I totally apologize for. Um, but I'm pretty blunt. And I don't think, uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell people, what, I'll tell people what they think, you know what I mean? Or what I think. Because I have nothing to gain from anybody. You know, maybe TTS donations, but that's all short-term stuff. And there's other ways for me to make $300. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm pretty blunt when I talk to everybody. I mean, Drew's the point. So in the past, I've definitely been a little, I've definitely been a little fake. Uh, to try to make certain situations happen, but I don't really do that anymore because I don't really care enough to. Sam and Andy is walking from Mexico to Canada deadly. Uh, well, good luck to Sam and Andy then. Um, thank you, Dylan. Stop smoking, people always get addicted in Japan and then go back and are like, well, time to buy a pack. Well, <laughs> dude, these have like, what, 10 milligrams of nicotine? Like, my Juul has 60 milligrams of nicotine. I'll have no problem not smoking cigarettes back at home. You've used Andes that were hated to gain monetary value at times. Yeah, but you have to understand, uh, what's the fucking terminology they teach you in, uh, in economics? Opportunity costs. I don't know if that's the right terminology, but I'm going to use it. Yeah, think about ter- uh, opportunity costs. Bringing Sam and Andy onto my stream, for example, did garner me $300 in donations every time I brought them on. But you have to understand as well, there were other ways that I could have made $300 without Sam and Andy. Whereas when Sam and Andy comes on my stream, he gets brand awareness for his own channel which he has no other way of doing that any other way. So I have multiple options, Sam and Andy doesn't. So objectively speaking, Sam and Andy gets more out of that uh, engagement than I do. Uh, so, you know, that's, you know, just an interesting way to look at it. If you have to use people for money, bottom line sucks but true. I mean, not really. <laughs> Dude, I streamed by myself for the first two years of my streaming career, and I didn't use anybody. I didn't have anybody except for myself in my streams, for the most part. Like, there are plenty of ways for me to make donations that are not from baiting TTS with people who are hated on stream, you know? I mean, that was definitely the easiest way to do it, but it's not the only way to do it. And in fact, that's like short-term, short-term profit thinking. Having people like Sam and Andy on my stream only affected it negatively in the long run. 
you know, short term, I made, you know, a few hundred bucks from TTS bait, but in the long term, it really just, you know, negatively affected my image and, you know, what people thought about me as a person. So totally not worth it. The fact that you did it was scummy, not really for, I mean, frozen water. Let me put it this way. Is it scummy for me to invite somebody like Burger Planet or Salmon Andy onto my stream knowing that there's going to be TTS shit talking them? I don't think so because of what we just talked about earlier. He still gets more out of it than I do because what I get out of it is $300. What he gets out of it is probably $300 on the next stream he does and exposure. Whereas I get $300, and then my brownie points kind of go down a little bit, <laughs> I think. So, because I'm a sit with like normal people, because I'm associating with such uh, weirdos. So, I don't think it's that scummy. I think it's just business or something, you know? Let me put it this way. I wish I didn't bring any of these fucks in my stream ever. Sure, some of it would have, was good content and TTS bait, and that's cool. But in the end, real, real good people that I have been friends with, like other streamers, for example, they look po they look at me poorly now because I've hung out with, with such, uh, you know, bad people. You know, why would other streamers or other people want to associate with me when I'm associating with Salmon Andy or Burger Planet or this or that. So, you know, there goes my brownie points. You're basically the launch pad for smaller streamers because you haven't found someone bigger that you can work with yet. That's, I know, because why would a bigger person want to work with me when I'm working with such weirdos? <laughs> so, at a smaller level, I didn't balance it out correctly at all. But at the same time, you know, my intentions weren't all bad bringing these people in. I still wanted them to be successful, you know. I still tried. That's why, you know, Burger Planet, I brought him to Iceland and London with me. Like, I wanted the, I wanted them to be successful because I was trying to grow, you know, a network. <laughs> so there's not only bad intentions there. Thank you, Real MVP. I appreciate the, uh, the member, homie. Thank you very much, dude. Streamer House is a bad idea from the start. Of the CX network. in the chat. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know if the Streamer House is exactly a bad idea, but I just didn't do it right. Or I just didn't have the right people. I had too many degenerates. I think that's the word. Why is Bjorn just a racist? <laughs> he's not. He's just, he's, just a, he's just drunk, that's all. Hey, why is Bjorn such a wizard? I, I guess that makes sense. CX racist. in the chat, blah. But he doesn't do it on purpose, I don't think. Paul, your network members didn't exactly work together. They just baited drama for TTS. Yeah. You know, and that's that's my fault, Neb. I fucked up with that. I should have set a better precedent. Do you guys think if I would have set a better precedent, the other CX network people would have not baited each other for TTS? Or do you think it would have still happened? Because here's, I mean, it's hard to say. From what I've noticed, a lot of people don't like spending money for their streams. You know what I mean? They like making money, and they like spending it how they want to spend it. They don't really put back into their own streams. Whereas, that's like the one thing, the major thing I try to teach everyone that came onto the network. Like, put money back into your streams uh, as like an investment, and you'll get your return on investment very quickly. Like, hopefully. And nobody ever did that. I can't count, I can't tell you how many times I had some of these guys, they just like, uh, I'm trying to think of an example. Hampton Brandon, for example. Sam and Andy, the Beyonce of CX Network. I immediately changed the video when he's on. 
Ice Poseidon is a man these people cry so much wah. And the Brandon, for example. He, uh, when I first met him, I had helped him get started with shirming. He made a good amount of money shirming. And then, like, months later, he was still asking me for money. It's like, where did that go? <laughs> like, you can only help people so much. But if they can't be responsible enough to, like, further themselves, then the fuck can you do? You're the only one who cared enough about us to put money into the stream to entertain us? Well, I mean, this is my job, right? So I can't not put money into the stream. You know what I mean? Like, like, it, it's, it's, it, to me, it's normal. Like, you have a job, you want to be get better at your job, you put money into the, your job to do better. Like, I, that's like a normal concept for me. And it blows my mind that other people don't think that way. You know, growing up, I traded stocks a little bit. Um, I've traded some cryptocurrency when I first became a streamer a little bit. Um, like, I just, getting, like, investing has always been, like, a thing for me. And when I spend, you know, I always think in my head, okay, if I spend a thousand, all right, for example, I extended my flight to Japan. Free flight to Japan, free trip to Japan. The investors paid for the flight, the hotel, everything. And I was thinking in my head, if I extend my trip in Japan, for three hundred dollars, and then spend another probably uh, three hundred dollars on hotels. That's six hundred dollars. Am I gonna make six hundred dollars in the next five days? The answer is probably yes. So it's a good investment, and I will take that investment, even if I see short-term money loss, because five days from now I'm gonna have more than that six hundred dollars. Like that's normal to me, and it. You know, and if there's anyone else, I feel like they would have not spent the $600 and they would have just been like, oh, let's go back to LA and do whatever, dude. Fucking free trip to Japan. Do you still get along with Sam Pepper? I mean, we don't really talk, but, you know, he's fine. He's chill. You should think about getting back into crypto. Nah, the crypto's dead. There's nothing in fucking crypto, dude. It's their job too. It makes sense if you're the sole benefiter that you pay for everything, but in a collaboration, people should contribute even a little of what they make as a sign of respect. You would think so, Neb, but nobody thinks that way. <laughs> Imagine spending your own money on stuff and you can have your sugar daddy do it for you. AKA me. Listen here. I know you don't want to read this, but apologize to IP2 otherwise. Forget it. I don't even know why I am a member still. <laughs> I mean, sure. I, I still disagree with uh, everything that they value entirely because um, I, I just... I just don't agree with a lot of the values that I see on there. And I definitely don't agree with their moderators because their fucking mods are actual pedophiles. But I apologize for actually, for shutting down my Reddit. I really do. I, it was a fucking mistake. Because um, there was better ways to clean up my Reddit. Unfortunately, I can't apologize directly to that alternative subreddit because I don't believe in, their, in the values that that subreddit has. And their moderators are real pedophiles and actual cloud chasers. And, you know, I'm sure the people who use that Reddit see that, you know, you're not dumb. You know exactly who the moderators are. You know how shitty they are. So, as long as you understand that, then I think we're on the same page. But, unfortunately, I can't apologize to the that subreddit because that would be me apologizing to the moderators of that subreddit, which... I think they're disgusting human beings, so I cannot. But I should not have shut down my Reddit the way I did. Unfortunately, I was in a very fucked up situation, and it was either shut down the Reddit or become homeless. <laughs> like, sort of. Like, sort sort of. Like, that was, like, it. You know, the investors were just like, they're going to pull out if you don't shut down the Reddit. And then I was not in a situation financially to look for another apartment, and my name was not in the lease. 
So I, I didn't want to get kicked out immediately, so I was like, okay, let's just do this, I guess. Thank you all, yes, and uh, Casey, appreciate it, dudes. Try this coffee cigarettes in Japan, they're good. I tried a blueberry cigarette the other day, but that's, uh, that was it. So do you have a plan after Japan yet? Well, when I get back to LA, uh, my plan is to immediately move. <laughs> uh, I've already been looking for apartments, so yeah, that's the plan. Content-wise, I don't know. I don't know what the uh, the content's going to be in LA besides just sitting at my computer, because uh, yeah, I don't know. You're not diffusing a situation by calling those moderators pedos. I only call those mods pedos because they, they are, like objectively, they, there's, there's proof online of it. Like I don't just slander people's names, even though those moderators love to do it to me. Um, but I'm not a shitty fucking person, so, uh, objectively speaking, that they, they are, unfortunately, so. I hate that most of the people who you have associated with in the past have just used you and try to say that whatever they did was justified like Hubert or Brandon or Sam and they're all the same. Sam has probably been the nicest person that I've met in LA. And I don't know if that's saying... I am deeply words. going to miss when you go offline and we don't have people talking about you and community stuff I will miss that about the network. I was basically never bored. Well, I have another plan in mind, Cloud. It's uh, not a network, because I don't want other people to have to worry about me, or like reflect on me. But I have an idea that will keep you from being bored, hopefully. Um, we're working on something with the website right now to make it interesting, to say the least. Don't apologize here, do it on a dedicated stream also. I'm only talking about 60% of the yip to Reddit, the others are cancer. When you fix Reddit's situation, we'll be fine. If you don't fix it, then good luck. Well, I mean, my Reddit is open. It does have a lot of restrictions on it. But, you know, that's because, uh... You know, I'm trying to get rid of those 40%, obviously. Um... And I'm not trying to diffuse the situation by saying what I said. I'm just trying to bring awareness. You're slandering because we have no evidence? Eric's. There's evidence online. If you look deep enough, there's evidence. Just look back at the beginning of that Reddit before they delete the posts. All the way to the beginning. The very first fucking post on that Reddit. And look, look at their other Discord that they had, too. Very, uh, very disgusting stuff. Very cancer stuff. Like, can't more cancer than this. Was it a cigarette? Not a good habit? No, it's not, Phila. Phila, but it's only in Japan, don't worry. It's not anywhere else. How? I'm not gonna go into it, Eric's, but it's just like, like, you know, there's just fucking, think about it like this, that, the moderator's on that place started from being the, the absolute most cancer people in the community they were banned from the community because they are so cancer and then they all congregate into their own little corner of the internet and they you know they call they are glad swattings happen they share disgusting stuff with each other information and you know stuff like that like I don't really want to get into it. It's uh, 8 o'clock right now, so time it is over here. For content, once you go to LA, go to fans' houses on different days, hang out with them and their friends. I could do that, but that's only going to end up with Cloud Chasers and their address getting leaked, <laughs> which I don't want. So I don't know if that's a good idea. On paper it is, but I don't know in reality if that's a good idea. Thank you, Alucard. I appreciate the, uh, the member, homie.
come to New York, homie, it's content. I don't really like, I don't really like you, New York, uh, his own. I don't know why, but New York's kind of scuffed, but I don't know. Yeah, Storak, if you message me, that's a good place. Just message me on Twitter or Instagram. Both those DMs are open. Send me your ideas if you'd like. Or on Reddit. You can post it on Reddit. I do look at my Reddit pretty consistently, um, like every day. I don't look at the other one, but I look at my Reddit. Those that support you will be here. We'll continue to. Well, thank you, DMX. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you very much, dude. Damn, I smoked how many ones? Those that support you for you will continue to. Damn, I smoked like six cigarettes, dude, in this fucking stream. <laughs> I just stopped, dude. This is only a cancer, bro. CX in the chat. Yeah, I don't like New York shooter. It's really not my place. I really just don't like it. It's okay. We're going to go on a nice 10-mile walk tomorrow. Don't tomorrow. you dare talk about the beginning. The only reason IP2 happened was because of you. You're a semi-good soul when you get back to law. Make it your priority to at least apologize to IP2 love you. Um, I apologize to my community for uh, not being transparent. But I'm not going to apologize to that specific Reddit. Because the moderators of that specific Reddit literally tried to ruin my life. And I just cannot support anybody that uses that Reddit. Especially when my Reddit is open for people who are not going to be absolutely toxic. Like, you know what I mean? I, I just can't. It's, uh... The, the, the mod team over there is just some of the worst people I've ever seen in my life. And I don't even blame the people on it. I'll, let me make this, let me clarify. I don't blame the people on it. Some people just want a place to go and be fucked up. I get it. It's the internet. But the people who own that fucking shit, who own that Reddit, not good people. Like, actually not good people. Uh, I might do a 420, 420 stream, Neb. I don't really know. I mean, wait, where the... Oh, 420... No, it's in five days. No, I'm gonna be in Japan. There's no 420 stream. Unless I hotbox a, a car with a cigarettes. Fuck that, though. Thank you, Ghost, for the uh, five dollars, homie. I appreciate that, homie. LA's more expensive than New York? No, it's not. New York's much more expensive, dude. For sure. I mean, any day can be a 420 stream, honestly, dude. Am I going to stay there for nine weeks till I move? No, I'm going back to LA on Friday. I wanted to hit Australia and New Zealand and all these places, but I have responsibilities back at home. I have to get ready to move. Is weed, like, illegal or not attainable in Japan? If I get caught with weed in Japan, I will be probably in jail for the next five months and then deported <laughs> um, weed is very very illegal in Japan very illegal if I had a weed charge in America I would not is weed be, like illegal or not attainable not in Japan? Japan if I had a weed charge in America I would not be allowed in Japan Japan, Japan does not let anybody in with drug charges at all so like it's they, they take that shit serious New York has lower tax rates. Maybe, but it's more expensive, so shit even so. I got three Coke charges. Boom. Little boom. Have you ever been to Japan? Because if you have three Coke charges, I don't think they're going to let you in, bro. Hey, I've been a big fan for a long time. Watched you little on Twitch, but mostly got into your streams on YouTube. Streams where you ran out of gas on highway and law were funny AF. GL with all this drama. Hey, thank you. Homie. Everyone you put on don't understand when I succeed, they succeed. I appreciate like it. when EBZ confronted you about doing Molly. You can't do that, homie. I just made this thing. What do you think about Arizona? I like Arizona, but I don't think I'd live there. It's just too hot. There's not much to do. Yeah. 
I you banned me but they said that I was donating too much to you, and said that was the reason why I was banned well at least the old mods are gone they were corrupt. Or, or you can just go back to my reddit and deal with normal people and not fucking mentally ill moderators. Um, so soccer people are more friendly, go out tonight please. Well I want to be ready to go for tomorrow when we do 24 hours so I'm going to get good sleep tonight and not go out tonight, but, uh, thank you. Yeah, a lot of the people, this guy who donated has a point, a lot of people don't understand. If people on the CX network would help each other, it would grow much better. The more drama there was, for example, Hampton Brandon calling Sam Pepper a head of fire. Will Twitch ever be an opportunity again? I don't know, dude, to be honest, but, uh, you never know where, the, where life can take you, right? So, who knows? Um, Hampton Branding, Hampton Brandon calling Sam Pepper a pedophile when they were both on the CX network 10 months ago. Totally a bad idea. Because Brandon didn't understand this, but now, like, he's associating himself with a pedophile then. If he really. Pedophile. If he. Because he says that. When he says that, he's still associating CX in the himself chat. with that person because they're on the same network. So they, he shouldn't say that. Like, we should all work together to grow something instead. Uh, EBZ confronting me about something with Molly, like, I don't know, like, that, that wasn't bad, but whenever there was drama within the network, it was entertaining, but didn't help anything. It only made, th it only made shit worse, and it made no one else want to join it, either. Thank you, Psycho Mode. Appreciate the, uh, the member, dude. What do I think about DLive? I think it's a cool short-term money-making opportunity, but as soon as PewDiePie stops giving out his money, then DLive's going to be useless. I mean, I think, right? I think it's just short-term, dude. I'm not even talking about biting the hand that feeds you already. Just biting anyone you work with, like a co-worker's hand. Two K a week. Oh, you guys have something else. <laughs> You think being in a network, the streamers would have done events together? Well, they did events on my stream. Just nobody else really... Uh, nobody else except for Sam really wanted to throw money down to do events. You know, the shit takes money. It's not cheap. Um, but, you know, people are... People like to hold on to their money. What can I say? It's smart, stupid at the same time. see what am I doing about the truck Steve Jobs is just going to have the military truck I don't what, what am I going to do with it like it's that's his truck he can have it I don't care I don't I don't fucking want it dude I just want to get away from it all that's all I miss my fucking Discord, bro. Like, I can't log into my Discord account. And I could make a new Discord account and give it roles, but, like... I want my fucking Discord account. Like, it's not the same. And until I get the, my phone back from the FBI, I can't log into it. It sucks. Putting two-step on, on all my accounts is, like, trash, dude. I hate it. Can you free the plebs? Well, I mean, this is a chill stream, so I wanted to give something to the members, you know. But it's 8 p.m. here anyway. Ice moving to Vegas confirmed no state tax. Well, there's no state tax in a lot of states, but it's 8 p.m. here anyways. So I want to, uh, I don't know, I'm probably just going to try and, I'm probably just going to log on the RuneScape for the next hour or two and then go to sleep. I'm getting tired. Um, and then tomorrow, bright and early in the morning, wake up. And we will do a 24-hour stream in Kyoto and uh, wherever else we end up, because 24 hours... IP2 hates the most the mods lot. like you do. Make a dedicated stream to officially address and apologize to the community to simply shut down. Yeah, you love our Discord, cool, but her Reddit made you eight checks. I mean, the Reddit's open. Um, sure. 
Um, I, I can do that. So, tomorrow, 24-hour stream. 24 hours is a very, very long motherfucking time to stream. So, I don't know where we're going to end up, what we're going to end up doing. Kyoto's not that big of a city. It's a really small city. So, when we're done with Kyoto, we could probably go to some other city and go from there, dude. Um, streaming on the bullet train is not really possible. The internet's dog shit. And it's really boring. Nobody talks on trains, so it's, like, fucked up. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to get some sleep here, and then we'll uh, start bright and early tomorrow. Um, what was I going to say? Anything else? Plan on being back in L.A. on Friday. And uh, I don't know what time the 24-hour stream is going to start. Just whenever, whenever I wake up, I'm literally going to wake up and go live as soon as I leave this place. Like, we can, I'm going to start the stream with, like, eating breakfast and everything. And 